Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Pager here, once again with another video for you guys. And in this video, we're going to be going through some Flash Season 2 details. And uh, it's going to be similar to uh, what I did with my Arrow video a couple days ago. So if you've not seen that, I will leave it annotated in one of the corners as well as uh, linked in the description below. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, leave any comments on anything that I say in this video or stuff that you'd like to see in Season 2. And also, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe. So, similar to my Arrow video, I will say that these can be seen as spoilers, but in my opinion, they're not spoilers, just like plot points, which I don't think really spoil the show because there's no real shocks uh, revealed in this. So, But if you are prone to some form of spoiler, then I'd say don't watch it um, because that, this is just my warning. So, the show will uh, debut on October 5, which is uh, not that far away. It's about just over a month and a half away, so it's getting really, really close and getting really, really excited for it. Uh, the West family is actually meant to be a major focus in this season. It will, it will be a major plot, uh, plot point, um, hence the introduction of Wally West, but also I think of the Wally West thing is just to do with the whole speedster people coming together, like Jay Garrick as well. Iris will actually join Star Labs as like some form of reporter, so she'll be hanging around with the, uh, with the other people from Star Labs a lot more in this season. Kaylin Snow is actually the one running Star Labs now, obviously because of the destruction of Eobard Thorne slash Harrison Wells in the previous season. Uh, from what they say, the beginning of the season will actually have a few months of a time skip, which I thought they weren't going to do, because usually they do that in Arrow, and because of the end of Season 1 of Flash, I thought they were just going to carry on straight away, and fair enough if there's a time skip after that, but if there's a time skip straight away and they just have like flashbacks to the moments uh, following uh, during the end of Season 1, I'd be a bit disappointed. So hopefully, maybe they mean just after the first couple of minutes of season one, uh, season two, sorry, then there's a time skip because I'd really like to see Barry like stop that wormhole thing happening. Throughout the beginning of season two, Barry is apparently fighting alone, so without any help from Star Labs because he's really guilty over the city, like hailing him as the hero instead of Eddie, who obviously took his own life, so Eobard Thorne would be destroyed. As we know, Zoom is actually going to be the big bad, and he's actually faster than the Flash and the and the uh, Eobard Thorn Reverse Flash. So, this is going to be a pretty difficult villain to contain. Patty Spivet will debut, and we also saw like the back of her, um, in that like comic book sort of thing, like the homage to the first uh, meeting of the Flash and Jay Garrick. So, yeah, we already saw like the back of her. Earth Two is obviously going to be a major plot point. And uh, apparently it's going to be affecting Arrow as well, from what they've described. But it will, at least with some of the villains, because they have said that um, what's his name, Blight's Krieg, whatever his name is, Blight's Krieg, um, will be an Arrow, and he's actually from Earth Two in the comics. So I don't know if they're going to make him from Earth Two in the show, but hopefully they do to you know be faithful to the comics. Jay Garrick actually comes through to mentor Barry, which we sort of already guessed would happen a bit, but um, at least they've confirmed it. Um, some other Justice Society of America characters show up, such as the Atom Smasher, which you already knew he was turning up because they already revealed who was playing him. Uh, Gorilla Grodd and the Rogues will appear again, which we were sort of with, with Gorilla Grodd, we sort of knew because we found out that he's still alive. And also, we'd expect the Rogues to turn up because, well, it's the Flash. The Flash is nothing without the Rogues. Uh, Captain Cold and uh, Golden Glider will actually have an episode where they will team up with their father, who was like abusive to them. Tom Cavanaugh will actually play Earth 2 Harrison Wells in Season 2, whose true purpose is a lot more sinister than the uh, or the Earth that we know um, Harrison Wells before he was taken over by Earbud Thorne. Cisco will be getting vibes, and I've put that in inverted commas because uh, it just hints at his arm. I don't know if he actually become vibe in the season, they haven't really said anything. I'm assuming that he will. There's too many hints for him becoming vibe to, for him not to officially become it, but he's going to be getting a lot more vibes from all the Earth 2 and... Uh, multiverse activity. Uh, Jake Garrick will actually be teaching Barry some new abilities such as, uh, actually I won't give anything away but this will be pretty cool in season two. As we know that Barry is actually going to get that white logo suit which um, it's going to be awesome, cannot wait. Dr. Light but the Kimmy Yo version will actually be appearing so that's going to be very very interesting. Because they actually did, um, in when Caitlin Snow and Cisco first appeared, and I was actually in a season two episode of Arrow, from what I remember, they actually do name drop a Dr. Light, but I think they're talking about a male in that circumstance, so this is actually going to be a female, so uh, it's going to be a different version. And Henry Allen's ongoing uh, sentence in jail is actually going to be another plot point in the show, so... It's going to be interesting, especially if the timeline changes and stuff like that, whether he's released from jail. I don't think he will. I think it sounds like he's going to stay in jail. But uh, I think it would be more along the lines of them, um, Joe continuing to try to get him freed, trying to prove that he didn't uh, kill his wife. So that might be the plot point that they're going along. 
So thanks for watching, guys. Leave any pins in the comment section below. What part of Season 2 are you looking forward to the most? In my opinion, I'm pretty, really looking forward just to the whole Jay Garrick, Barry Allen interaction. I think that's going to be really, really cool to see. And uh, especially him teaching Barry some new powers because Barry's getting a bit more confident with his flash abilities. And I think that's going to be pretty cool to see with him getting taught. So yeah, leave any of them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Go check out my Arrow version of this video and I will actually be doing a Legends of Tomorrow version of this sort of video in the next couple of days. It will be like Legends of Tomorrow and Vixen sort of put together in the one video because Vixen's not that long. It's not going to take long to talk about her so I think it's pointless making a whole video on it. So I'll just put them two together because they're both a new series coming out and that should be out in probably two days time from when I upload this video. So be on the lookout for that. And I will catch you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.